another day just waking up and oh man today is LA day and my girlfriend is already like driving me crazy so we're gonna be in LA until Sunday or Monday or something like that I don't know exactly how long we're gonna be there and today I need to like do a few things I need to run a few errands I want to you know work for a couple hours and now my girlfriend's like hey I need you to go pick this up for me and I'm like, well, I sort of have my day already planned out. I'm going to have to, like, not do something if you want me to, like, take time and go pick this thing up. When you're self-employed, it's your responsibility to stay on top of your game all the time. And when you start slipping, no one's going to be around and say, yo, you're slipping. You're just going to be slipping. And that's just how it is. Even in relationships, like... You just can't like just stay at home and chill all the time when you know that you should be out grinding because it's a good time to be out. On a Tuesday afternoon, it's hella dead, but on a Saturday afternoon, it's not. It's really busy. That's one problem I have with being self-employed. It's Relationships can be a little tricky, especially if your partner is not self-employed. That's a huge problem I'm having. Ugh! You gotta understand me as a traveler. I'm like the backpack traveler. I don't like to go to those like touristy destinations where everybody goes like Cancun. I told myself I want to go to Cancun when I'm 50. You know, after I've been to all those other random places that I don't want to go when I'm 50. And another thing about Cancun, I feel that like resorts like Cancun and Waikiki and Hawaii, whenever you're at a resort like that, and if you're there and if you just close your eyes and open your eyes, you could literally be at any resort in the world. And that's what I kind of don't like about going to like popular tourist destinations because it's like all the same stores and it's the same the same food shops and it's it's just the same, you know. I want to I like to go to countries where it's not on the front page of Forbes or it's not on the front page of USA Today. You should travel here. Go to Colombia. Go to the Philippines. I like to go to those random offbeat places. Those places that are not blown up on TV. I don't know what to do today. My girlfriend has totally just stressed me out. And now our whole trip has changed. We were originally going from San Francisco to Santa Barbara. And we were going to stay there for one night with a friend of mine. Now all the plans have changed. Instead of the two of us going, my girlfriend and I, now it's my girlfriend and I and two of her other friends. All right, so we're not going to Santa Barbara now. So now we're going straight to LA. I, plans change like crazy and oh, I don't like this. I really like solo traveling. I'll tell you why I like solo traveling. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. All right, when you travel with large groups of people and you don't want to go to that restaurant and everyone else wants to go to that restaurant, you're sort of singled out and you have to go to that restaurant that you really don't want to go to. I have spent so much time traveling the world alone that I think it's it's like tough to travel with people for me. Like, I just don't want to do it by myself, you know? I really like to be in control of this situation and I'm completely not in control of this situation. Packing now, getting ready to go to the city and Last night, I put clothes in... Last night, I put clothes in the washer and dryer. And this morning, I can't find them. Guess I'm not gonna wear those clothes that I washed yesterday because I cannot find them anywhere. It's so annoying. What happened to them? In the city now, I did the right thing. I made my girlfriend happy. I went and picked up her stuff from the container store that she needed. And I've just been sitting here watching YouTube videos for the past like 20 minutes. I've already accepted a test rabbit job. I'm gonna go pick it up now. I just text the customer and ask if it's okay if I begin the test earlier. And they said, yeah, sure, everything's ready. Come on by. Hey, what up, bro? I already picked up that package. About to go deliver it now. This delivery drop off is maybe about 15 minutes away, 10 minutes away. Traffic right now in the financial district is thick. I want to say that there was another protest up here or something going on. Getting ready to go to LA now and... Dude, I don't want my vlogs to suck, but this one probably won't be a good one. It, we just been, my girlfriend and I just been fighting all day and it's just... It's brutal. It's brutal. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I, I know one thing, I can't, I can't live like this, like I can't. 
I can't fight. Like, I can't, like, go through phases of where, like, things are good and then things are bad. Mm -mm, I just can't do it. Like, life is too short. And there are, there's too many things that I want to do. And if I'm always fighting and screaming, like, I just can't, I can't accomplish things that I really want to accomplish. And things that are going to make my life better. I wish today was Monday. Because I'm not just all happy-go-lucky bouncing off the walls. But come on, real life is not about just being happy every day. Like, come on, we all have rainy days in our life. I'm definitely having a rainy day today. I'm having a stormy rainy day. All right, getting ready for this road trip. I got something I want to show you guys. So earlier today, I made this in the blender before I left. I had a whole bunch and I wanted to keep it cold for a couple hours so I could drive around and drink it when we got ready to go and here is a shake I don't know you guys can't really see it hold on I gotta put the camera down for a second so here we go I'm really surprised that the ice is not melted because it's I guess it wasn't that hot today but it's like none of the ice melted this is a protein chick bananas um, a whole bunch of pineapple and ice so I'm pretty stoked that it didn't melt so I'm about to drink it now and I guess I can pour all this ice and water out pit stop it in and out of course, my girlfriend had to stop for in and out And in and out with my girlfriend. What you order? What did you order for me? French fries. She got me french fries. And what do you get for yourself? Cheeseburger animal style. Animal style. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Check out that sunset there. Huh. You want another worst part about the story? We got a long way to go. We got like four hours. Wow, look at this. <laughs> so, you want some flowers? Wow, can you guys see me? It's hella dark. Finally got to LA. Gotta unbox the car, go inside, check out this Airbnb, and then edit this vlog, and I don't know. We gotta go inside first before we do all the editing, the vlog, and all that. So, uh, we'll see. I uh, just checked into the Airbnb. Oh, what a long drive. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be out of the car. Oh, we gotta do that whole drive back in a couple of days, but for now, I'm just gonna have a blast. Um, Jesus, he lives in like um, North Hollywood. Maybe we can bump heads. And tomorrow there's some sort of party that we're going to. My girlfriend came here for a like some sort of art showing she didn't really tell me much about it and there's gonna be like some huge like party tomorrow night so we'll see what that's about sorry if this vlog was kind of just a bummer I promise tomorrow will be much much better i mean i spent a lot of time in the car today too i mean road trips can be fun <laughs>